We pass landmarks and streets every day in our area and don't even think about their names. In a new series called You Ought to Know, we are rediscovering the icons whose names are part of our everyday lives. We're kicking off the series with a very popular New Orleans park, Joe W. Brown Park out in New Orleans East. Joe Brown Park out in New Orleans East is well known, but what about Joe Brown, the man? And do you know who Joe Brown is? I don't. No, I do not. I actually do not. Yeah, I've been living in the East all my life. I have no clue who Joe Brown is. Do you come to Joe Brown Park a lot? I do, every week, every and, day. And who is Joe Brown? Lord, who is Joe Brown? Unless you do the research, you actually, people do not know that information. We turned to Nord CEO Larry Barabino Jr. for answers, and even he had to do some research. Joe Brown was a rich oil tycoon, should we say. Uh, he owned racehorses, he owned a lot of property, he was a developer. Joe Brown was born in Texas in 1897. He relocated to Louisiana in the 1920s and passed away in 1959. It wasn't until after his death that the park came to be named after him. His wife, Dorothy Darset Brown, uh, got with the city and they did a land uh, acquisition where they'd swap properties and, but in the process of swapping a lot of the properties, they donated some with, with the request that the property be named after her late husband, Joe W. Brown. That land exchange took place in 1962. This document from 1971 states that a condition of the deal was that a portion of the land be a public park designated as Joe W. Brown Memorial Park. More than 160 acres of land was exchanged. Today, 64 acres of that land is Joe W. Brown Park. The Nature Center, Library, Fire Station, and Police Station sit on the rest of that land. While this park was the inspiration to find out more about Joe Brown, it turns out his legacy extends far beyond this park. There is actually a Joe W. and Dorothy Dorset Brown Foundation. The office is out in Metairie. The foundation did not want to be interviewed for the story, but according to the website, the foundation contributes to the betterment of communities, alleviating human suffering, and supporting educational initiatives. Most of the couple's charitable acts were anonymous. Joe W. Brown Park is one of the rare exceptions. And while Joe Brown's legacy may not be well known, the benefits that he left to the community are undeniable. Not just for New Orleans East, and I always have to tell those in New Orleans East, this complex is not just the jewel for New Orleans East, but it's the jewel of North. And as for the W in Joe W. Brown Park, which you may or might not have even noticed, that stands for Warlick. Next year, Nord will actually be celebrating its 75th anniversary, and part of the celebration will be informing people about who the facilities are named after. And it's, it's amazing how many names are around town that you don't know the origin of that. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been knowing about Joe Brown Park for for decades. Same, but and you know I, I didn't even know there's a W in it. That so. was the other thing. Some of these now I'm always playing a game with myself driving down the street. I'm like, do I know who that is? Yeah. I have no clue. So yeah. let's right, look good it up. Series. All right, thanks, Eric. We're